got my still hat on, so I'm ready to use my still trimmer. You can't use them if you don't have both. I think it's some sort of law. Welcome back to Walnut Springs. Today, I wanted to go over my still FS-131R, all of its attachments, how to install them, and what they're like to use. Let's get to it. All right, so here's all the different blades that I use for my still trimmer. This is just your standard line um, trimmer head. The line that I actually prefer to use and I've had the best luck with is this CF3 Pro. It's a 0.095 uh, trimmer line. It works really well. It's kind of kind of braided and twisted. Then you have a chisel tooth uh, circular saw blade. This is really good if you have like little trees, little saplings that you want to cut down. You have a grass blade. This one I don't use all that much. This is the knife blade uh, that still makes. This thing works way better than the grass blade. It just, it cuts through everything. As you can see, it's double-sided. So whenever one side gets dull, you can just flip it over whenever you install it and it will um, keep cutting. And then you can sharpen these edges. I haven't ever done that. And I've had this for about two years. I use it several times a year to get the brush uh, cut clear on my trail. All right, so I've got uh, the trimmer set up here on my bench. Uh, I just wanna show you real quick how to install these. They all install the exact same way. What you'll need is this little device. It should come with your trimmer or it comes with the, uh, with the blade itself. I believe this one actually came with my trimmer. Um, this thing comes with the trimmer itself. Seems like it'd be real easy to lose, but you can also use a screwdriver. On the steel trimmers, there's a little hole at the top of the trimmer head that you'll actually insert this into. And then you'll just turn the, he the head itself until it drops down in there. You can see how it dropped down in there, just like that. That means it's locked. This thing won't spin anymore. And then whenever you wanna loosen it, you're gonna go counterclockwise as we go and eventually it drops off. Now you see this little plate right here came off with it and then this is just a trimmer head. Okay, so this is what it looks like upside down. Uh, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna put this, this little guy back on there and it goes in this direction. The easiest way to do this is take that pin out. So you've got that pin out, it just sits just like that. You'll just basically pop it on just like that. And you can see this is kind of beveled just fits right on there. Then you'll take this guy and there's little little grooves right there. There's also little grooves on, on this piece and it'll just line up with it. And you take the nut and if you have a chainsaw, so if you have one of these, this end actually is the same size as this nut. You're gonna take this little guy here and you're gonna put it back in that little spot. It's kind of hard to, to do at this angle. Once it tightens down in there, it'll stop spinning, and then you can tighten it, tighten it up. Just get it nice and snug. I wanna show you each one of these. I'm gonna go through here and do some trimming uh, in this overgrowing area. And um, I will go to another area to show you the chisel tooth, because, uh, Really, this is not meant for brush. It's meant for cutting down saplings and stuff. I've got a few that I can cut down. All right, I'm gonna start with the regular string trimmer. Got my ear protection, my eye protection. So let's try to clean up some of this area here. Now 
as you can see this cut down pretty thick stuff I've got this little guy that this went through uh, granted I didn't trim all that much so I didn't go through any line but um, this string works really really well and uh, just cuts right through it so let's go on to the next one all right we got the grass blade installed I'm gonna cut this little area right here All right, that was the uh, grass blade. It wasn't a big area, but you can see it does a little bit different type of cutting. It doesn't whack the grass up into pieces, kind of like the string trimmer does. It, it cuts it, um, doesn't cut it very fast. I'm not a big fan of this blade because of how slow it is to cut some of this stuff. All right, so now I have the uh, the knife blade installed. This is my favorite one, like I was saying. So let's go ahead and let's just try to chop down some of this area over here. All right, that was the knife blade. Um, it just cuts through a lot smoother. I uh, hope that comes through on the video. Um, comparing the knife blade and the grass blade, the knife blade just cuts a lot quicker. And I just think it's because the, the blade, the cutting area is so much bigger than the grass blade. Real quick, whenever you're installing the uh, chisel tip uh, circular saw blade, it's got a specific direction that it actually uh, needs to go. Easiest way to do that is this logo is gonna go up and that should get you spinning in the correct direction. Okay, I got this one installed, the uh, circular saw blade. Let's go find a few little saplings that we can cut down with it. All right, there it is, the chisel tip circular saw blade. Cuts down some pretty good stuff. You could cut down a pretty thick tree with it with no problem. Uh, keeps you a safe distance away. Um, yeah, I really like this one. I don't use it a lot because I don't have a lot of trees that I want to cut down. All right, there you go. That's all the attachments that I use for my Still FS-131R. Uh, now I will uh, give you a little bit of a caution. Whenever you look into these blades for your still, make sure that it can actually work or is designed to work with your piece of equipment. Let me know which, uh, which attachments you guys use. Um, if you guys use any of these blades or if you use this particular line or if you have a better line that you like or even a better cutting blade that you think I should try out. But this is the stuff that I use uh, to help maintain my trail works really really well this particular trimmer is amazing uh, it's never failed me big tip for anybody that's going to be using a um, two-stroke or a four-stroke motor make sure you're running non-ethanol gas in your stuff that is the biggest tip i can give for everybody that and stable 360 um, it it is just saved me a lot of maintenance makes these things last and start up every season if you're interested in something like this, check out Still. It's a great brand. And then check out all of these different blades. Definitely pick up this particular one if you've got brush to do. So 
As always, get out there, run, bike, build, and just have fun. We'll see you guys in the next one.